Good evening. I'd like to take a quick minute to talk about the process we're going to handle tonight. If you bear with me for a minute. Tonight, prior to the actual business portion of the meeting, we're going to have a student reflection. That reflection will be led by Gavin Bunch, an eighth grade student at Harry, at, uh, Harry Hurst Middle School. Uh, following the reflection, we'll, we'll do the swearing in of the board members. Uh, that'll be followed by our, by our regular board meeting, uh, starting with the Pledge of Allegiance. Art uh, Oakland will lead that for us. And then the roll call. Also, at this time, I'd like to let you know that uh, after the uh, after the roll call, we'll have uh, board and superintendent recognitions. After those recognitions, we'll take a short uh, recess and continue on with the business portion after that recess. So, at that time, if you if you'd like to stay for the business portion of the meeting, you're certainly welcome to. But in that uh, short break, if you want to leave, that'll be your opportunity to sneak out the out the door. So, uh, at that, I'll ask. Uh, Mr. Gavin Bunch, if you'll step to the podium, please. Please stand. Dear Heavenly Father, please give us all clear voices as we sing your prayers and seek your assistance and guidance through song. Please help us to use our minds and creativity in good ways that serve you and our community, always seeking to do your will. Heavenly Father, please guide decisions tonight as officials conduct this meeting that they make wise decisions according to your will that continues our drive for exceptional teaching and continuous learning. Be with each and every one here tonight and always as we go our separate ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Gavin, thank you for that reflection. I want to uh, uh, wish you the best of luck. And you continue studies at Hearst and uh, your continuation at Desert. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Gavin. Good evening and welcome to the St. Charles Parish Public School Board swearing in ceremony. All eight incumbent school board members will be sworn in to their new terms. We are fortunate that these board members continue to provide the organizational stability that allows this school system to thrive and improve. We are pleased tonight to have Judge Tim Marcel from the 29th Judicial Court and Justice of the Peace Alicia J. Smith to conduct this evening's ceremony. At this time, I will invite all school board members to please assemble in front of the board table to begin the swearing in. Please raise your right hands and repeat after me. I, state your name, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office and as a member of the St. Charles Parish Schools Board of Education in accordance with the Constitution of the United States the Constitution of the State of Louisiana and the laws of the State of Louisiana to the best of my ability. Keep your hands up. I further swear that I shall uphold the policies and procedures of St. Charles Parish Public Schools I shall respect citizens' interest. 
by serving as a faithful protector of Saint Je of Saint J of the school's district's uh, assets. Faithful protector of the school district's assets. I shall encourage and respect the free expression of opinion by my fellow board members and others who seek a hearing before the board while respecting the privacy of students and employers. I shall abide by the majority decisions of the board while retaining the right to seek changes in such decisions through ethical and constructive channels. It is with commitment to honor these responsibilities that I agree to willingly serve this community as a member of the St. Charles Parish School Board. So help me God. Congratulations. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank both Judge Marcel and Justice of the Peace Smith for swearing in the members of the St. Charles Parish Public School, School Board. Congratulations to our school board members who will continue to represent and serve the students, families, and community members of St. Charles Parish. Thank you. I'd like to call the St. Charles Parish School Board meeting for January 23rd, 2019, order. Yeah, call it order. Yeah. At this time, I'd like to ask everyone to rise and we'll uh, do the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Mr. Art Oakwim. <laughs> I'd like the record to show that all board members are in attendance, along with our superintendent, Ms. Felicia Gomez Walker, and our executive secretary, Ms. Shelley Babineau. Mr. President, um, I would like a personal point of privilege, please. Go ahead, superintendent. Thank you. Uh, tonight, I have some special words for our immediate past president, Mr. Al Suffren. And also, we have a little memento of the time he has served as president during the past year. Mr. Suffren, it has been a privilege to serve beside you this past year. Your professional and calm demeanor has been a model for all of us. As board president, you were consistently prepared, highly visible, and paid attention to in every detail. The board and I approached every committee meeting, every board meeting, and every event with confidence that you would represent this school system with integrity and in an exemplary manner. Thank you for scoring an A plus for this AAA school system. The children, employees, families, and community of St. Charles Parish appreciate your service. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Madam Superintendent, members of the board. Uh, 
you know, if we enjoyed uh, any success that we enjoyed during the year 2018 is, uh, is due to what I call shared leadership. All eight board members shared in providing leadership, as did you, the superintendent, uh, the executive staff and administrators. So um, thank you for your support and for providing, for sharing and providing uh, that leadership during the course of the year. Thank you very much. Okay, first item on the agenda is 2.01, Louisiana School Board's Recognition Month. I'd ask Mr. Sonny Savoy if he would read that for me, please. Thank you, Mr. President, it's an honor and a privilege. Whereas the education of Louisiana school aged children is the foundation upon which the economic, social, and intellectual capital of our state is built. And whereas local elected school boards play an important and vital role in a representative democracy and decisions made by local school boards of education directly influence instruction in Louisiana's public schools. And whereas these decisions affect the present and future lives of children and also set direction to prepare all students to be competitive in the local, state, and national, and global 21st century economy. Whereas local school board members work with parents, businesses, education professionals, all elected officials, and other community members to create an educational vision we want our students to have. And whereas this year's theme, School Boards Matter, reflect the relevance of local school board members as they advocate for public education with local, state, and federal leaders. And whereas School Board Recognition Month provides an opportunity to build strong relationships between the thousands of people in Louisiana who champion the mission of public education and school board members. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Louisiana School Boards Association recognizes the, contrib the contributions of the state local school boards to the academic su success of its public school students and express its sincerest recognition to the local school board members for their focus on the well-being and the achievement of children throughout the state. And be it firmly resolved that the St. Charles Parish School Board declares January 2019 as School Board Member Month recognition and encourage local school districts and community leaders to appropriately recognize our state's dedicated school board members. And I move for its adoption. Second. Got a motion by Mr. Savoy, second by Mr. Robichaud. Is there any discussion? Okay, hearing none, please cast your vote. Madam Secretary, please note that that, that uh, uh, the proclamation passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda is 2.02, .02, School Board Member Training Resolution. Mr. Smith, would you read that for me, please? Thank you, Mr. President. School Board Member Training Resolution. Whereas each member of a city and parish school board shall receive a minimum of six hours of training and instruction as required by Act 705 of the 2011 Louisiana Legislature. And whereas this training and instruction shall consist of school laws of this state, laws governing the powers, duties, and responsibilities of the city and parish school boards, educational trends, research and policy, and whereas such instruction may be received from an institution of higher learning from instruction sponsored by the State Department of Education or by an in-service training program conducted by a city or parish school board central office or the Louisiana School Boards Association or sessions provided by the National School Boards Association. And whereas each member of a city and parish school board shall receive one hour of ethics training per year of their tenure as school board members. Now, therefore, be it resolved that, uh, that it becomes public record that Ellis A. Alexander, <coughs> Arthur A. Oakland, Melinda H. Bernard, 
Dennis J. Nockin, John W. Robichaud, John L. Smith, Clarence H. Savoy, and Alex L. Suffering, members of the St. Charles Parish School Board, have successfully received and exceeded the six hours of required training as mandated by the legislature of Louisiana, and all board members have fulfilled the mandate of one hour of ethics training for the year 2018. I move approval. Got motion by Mr. Smith, second by Mr. Oakland. Okay, is there any discussion? Hearing no discussion, please cast your vote. <laughs> Madam Secretary, please note that that motion passes. Next item on the agenda is 2.03, 2019 School Counselors Week Proclamation. Mr. Oakland, would you handle that for me, please? I'd be honored to. Whereas school counselors are employed in schools to help students reach their full potential, and whereas school counselors are actively committed to helping students explore their abilities, strengths, interests, and talents as these traits relate to career awareness and development. And whereas school counselors help parents focus on ways to further the educational, personal, and social growth of their children. Whereas school counselors work with teachers and other educators to help students explore their potential and set realistic goals for themselves. And whereas school counselors seek to identify and utilize community resources that can enhance and complement comprehensive school counseling programs and help students become productive members of society. And whereas comprehensive development school counseling programs are considered an integral part of the educational process that enables all students to achieve success in school. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the members of the St. Charles Parish School Board, hereby proclaim February 4th through 8th, 2019, as School Counseling Week in St. Charles Parish Public Schools, and urge all students, as well as parents and guardians, to become familiar with with and utilize the essential and supportive services offered by our school counselors. I so move we adopt. Second. Got a motion by Mr. O'Quinn, second by Mr. Bernard. Is there any discussion? Prior to tonight's vote, uh, I'm gonna ask the superintendent if she wants to say a word. Um, yes, I'd just like to reiterate something that was part of the proclamation and uh, the fact that counselors are an integral part of the educational process. That cannot be more true. And um, we really appreciate the great work that our counselors do. I'd also like to acknowledge Ms. Jerry Smith, who is the Executive Director of Student Services. She is responsible for um, supervising and coordinating our exceptional counseling program in our school system. Ms. Smith, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you, Superintendent. Any other discussion? Okay, hearing none, please cast your vote. Madam Secretary, that motion passes. Okay, next item on the agenda is 3.01. St. Charles Parish Public Schools United Way Campaign. Regina McMillan, Public Information Coordinator of Special Programs, will present to the board the results of the 2018 School System United Way Campaign. Thank you, President Nakan and board members for allowing me to address you tonight in regards to our 2018 campaign preliminary results. Once again, the school system had a tremendous campaign and it was successful due to all of our stakeholders coming together to benefit our community. This year, more than half of our employees, 
gave a direct donation to United Way. And this percentage jumps even higher when you consider all the employees who participated in the various special events. Our actual total this year came out to $91,931.18. And the school system is unique in the fact that we raise this money without any kind of corporate matching dollars. This is 100% given from our stakeholders. I'd like to thank the parents and students of our various schools, especially for participating in those special events such as Jean Days and Penny Wars. I'd like to thank our employees throughout the parish for attending informational sessions to learn more about United Way of St. Charles and giving so generously from their heart. I'd especially like to thank the superintendent. Um, from day one, when Superintendent Gomez Walker became superintendent and met with United Way, she was 100% on board with support of United Way, and she has made it a priority each and every year to attend every single United Way meeting, and there's approximately 25 of them every year throughout the school system, and she makes sure she is personally present to let our employees know how she feels about United Way. And I'd also like to thank our school level coordinators. Each site had their own coordinator in charge of the campaign for putting in the time and the effort at their individual sites to enhance the system's campaign success. And at this time, Superintendent Gomez Walker and Board President Nakian will present United Way's Director of Community Impact, Casey Kernan, with a check. just like to say on behalf of United Way staff, the United Way Board of Directors, um, our 30 plus partner agencies and 120 plus programs that we would like to express a sincere thank you to not only um, the school board, Regina, um, Ms. Gomez, Walker and the entire um, staff of the school system, but um, to every person who contributed to this campaign, the students, like she mentioned, all of the work that goes into it. And this, this particular campaign is very unique because um, it's very boots on the ground. We all attend 25, I think 25 is what we said, but different um, individual sites and it's, um, it's fun, it's different. And we just, it's, I would just wanna express a sincere thank you for your support and for all that you do for our community. And on behalf of, like I said, the board and the staff, and all of those who receive these valuable services, I want to say thank you. Well, thank you, Casey. Uh, the next item on the agenda is 3.02, the Board and Superintendent's Recognition. Students. School, systems, school system students were named to the Noetic Math Contest National Honor Roll from Ethel Scheffner Elementary School, Cecilia Cody. And from Lakewood Elementary School, Emerson Sermon Freeze. School system students were named to the all state and district honor choirs. J.B. Morton Middle School, Hannah Gotro.
Lakewood Elementary School, Abby Flair. Sarah Meir. RJVL Elementary School, Brooke Babin. <laughs> Elizabeth Bishop. Madison Orgeron. <laughs> and Gabrielle Tushard. School system students were named to an all-state honor choir. Albert Cannon Middle School, Mia Medina. <laughs> Ethel Scheffner Elementary School, Glorianne Bundick. Lakewood Elementary School, McKinney Alvarado. <laughs> School system students were named to the District 7 Honor Choir. Harry Hurst Middle School, Gavin Bunch. <laughs> Danica Gotro.
Reese Napolitano. Kylie O'Sullivan. Gianna Ryan. Mallory Tizard. J.B. Martin Middle School, Harley Bate. Caden Elliott. <laughs> Braden Orgeron. Sophie Truding. Lakewood Elementary School, Michaela Ayuso. <laughs> Malena Busat. Brayden Deshawn. (laughs) 
Jolie Dupuy. Mackenzie Mernier. <clears throat> Lucian Michelle. Gracelyn Milam. <laughs> Craig White. Luling Elementary School, Rayon Jones, who actually cannot be here tonight, so his sister is going to accept on his behalf. Paige Warner. <clears throat> Norco Elementary School, Morgan Dewey. Gabrielle Loga. <laughs> RJVL Elementary School, Keeley Meyer. Cooper Miller. <clears throat> Lila Meir. Avery Ortling. <clears throat> Emily.
Emily Semino. R.K. Smith Middle School, Amari Destines. Erin Ellis. Taylor Harding. Rhea Jones. <laughs> Tines Pierre. Kylie Posey. St. Rose Elementary School, Samantha Cook. Sam Rockefeller. <laughs> Destrahan High School students placed at the Division II Swimming State Championship meet. Placing third, the boys' 200-yard freestyle relay team of Jared Chasson, Clay James, Brock Lawrence, and Tayton Lale.
boys 200 yard medley relay team, Jared Chasson, Tayton Lale, Seth Smith, and Jake Stibe. Boys 400 Freestyle Relay Team, Clay James, Brock Lawrence, Seth Smith, and Jake Stieb. Sophia Matillas, who placed third in the 100-yard breaststroke. And placing second in the 100-yard breaststroke and 200-yard individual medley, Jake Stibe. School system students are individual district swimming champions. From Destrahan High School, the boys 200 yard freestyle relay team, Brock Lawrence, Tayton Lale, Jake Stibe, and Clay James. All right, don't go anywhere, guys. The same gentleman, with the addition of Jared Chasson, also placed as the district swimming champions for the boys' 200-yard medley relay. Y'all can have a seat for a moment. Just a moment. Don't get too comfortable. Girls 200-yard medley relay team. Lainey Hinchman, Sophia Matillis, Candon Mastika, and Riley Nakan. Brock Lawrence for both the 50 and 100 yard freestyle. <laughs> Tayton Lale, 100 yard breaststroke.
Jake Stieb, the 200-yard individual medley and 500-yard freestyle. Hornville High School, boys 400-yard freestyle relay team, Rhett Como, Chad McGuire, Joseph Richard, and Rafe Tozan. Chad McGuire for 100-yard butterfly. Claire Plaisance, 100-yard backstroke and 200-yard individual medley. Joseph Richard, 200-yard freestyle. <laughs> Teams. Hornville High School boys cross country team is the district champion, Coach Sean Crochet. Destrahan High School girls swim team is the West District champion, Coach Scott Rigby. And any girl swimmers from Destrahan, please come forward as well. Coach Rigby, you can go ahead and stay. Our Destrehan High School boys swim team placed third at the Division II Swimming State Championship meet and is the West District champion. Once again, Coach Scott Rigby and Destrehan swimmers, our boys, please come forward.
I'd like to take this opportunity once again to congratulate our, our recognition recipients and uh, thank you for exemplifying what we think we are as, as a school district. That's a triple A school district. You know, we honored our honor roll people, we honored our, our, um, you know, our, our academics in um, uh, athletics. We had the swim team, cross country, and in the arts, we had our choir. So please keep doing what you're doing. Be role models for the rest of the, your, your, your fellow students, and I uh, hope to see you here again. Thank you. At this time, we'll take a two minute recess. Those that want to stay, you're welcome to do so. I'd like to call the board meeting for January 2023, 2019 back to order. At this time, we'll begin our bu the business portion of tonight's meeting. Item 4.01 minutes. Minutes for December 7th, 2018 board retreat. December 10th, 2018 committee meeting minutes. And December 12th, 2018 board meeting. Move approval. Second. Got it. Motion by Mr. Robichaud, second by Mr. O'Quinn. Is there any discussion? Okay, hearing none, please cast your vote. Secretary 4.01 is approved. Next item on the agenda 4.02 personnel items. <coughs> this agenda item was reviewed personnel and policy committee meeting of the board on Tuesday, January 22nd, 2019, and is aligned with goal B of the board strategic plan. Mr. President, I move that we approve the personnel items that are presented at the board meeting. Second. On Tuesday. But we also have a couple of uh, addendum to the personnel I'd like to call Ms. Teresa Webb up here to explain to the board the additions for tonight. Okay. Got a motion by Mr. Savoy, second by Mr. Um, Mr. Suffren, and Ms. Weber, can you come up and give some detail, please? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Um, there are a few additions to the personnel notes, and I'll just call them out by number. You have the highlighted version that shows those, those particular positions that were added. We um, were able to add a couple of more retirements too that we had not talked about last night but thought that it was an opportunity to go ahead and do that so on page two notice number 11 and the classified on page four number two so those are a couple of leaves that were added In addition to that, if you turn to page 8, number 23 and 25 are two positions that were added that are under the resignations. And then finally on page 10, we have two retirements. Okay, any other board discussion? Thank you, Ms. Weber. You're welcome. Hearing no further discussion, please cast your vote. Madam Secretary, please note 4.02 uh, passes. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is 4.03, <coughs> Equal Opportunity Employment Policy. Uh, second reading and adoption. Upon review of board policy 4.01, equal opportunity employment, revisions were necessary to align with the recommendations developed by the Equal Opportunity Employment Commission. This agenda item was reviewed at the Personnel and Policy Committee meeting of the board on Monday, December 10th, 2018. What's the board's pleasure? Mr. President, I move that we accept revisions to board policy 4.01, equal opportunity employment for second reading. Second. Got a motion by Mr. S Mr. Suffren, second by Mrs. Bernard. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, please cast your vote. No. Okay, all those in favor of 4.03, signify for standing aye. 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 Opposed? Madam Secretary, that passes. 
Next item, 4.04, .04, Equal Educational Opportunities Policy, second reading and adoption. Upon review of Board Policy 1.01, .01, Equal Educational Opportunities, revisions were necessary to provide consistency with Board Policy 4.01, .01, Equal Opportunity Employment. This agenda item was reviewed at the Personnel and Policy Committee meeting of the Board on December 10th, 2018. I move approval. Second. Got a motion by Mr. Oquent, second by Mr. Bernard. Is there any discussion? Okay, hearing none, please cast your vote. Madam Secretary, please note that item 4.04 .04 passes. Next item, 4.05, Safety and Security Policy 5.10, first reading. Upon review of Board Policy 5.10, Safety Program, revisions were necessary to align with current best practice relative to school safety. This agenda item was reviewed at the Personnel and Policy Committee meeting of the Board on Tuesday, January 22, 2019. Mr. President, I move approval of the acceptance of revisions to Board Policy 5.10. Got a motion by Mr. Robichaud. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Mr. Savoy. Any discussion? Hearing none, please cast your vote. Madam Secretary, item 4.05 passes unanimously. Next item on the agenda, 4.06, change order number one, Onville High School roof replacement. The contract modifications included in change order number one are as follows. Unused metal deck allowance credit, $49,598.40. Gas line credit, $2,620. The total credit of all changes is $52,218.40. A total of 79 days were added due to inclement weather. This agenda item was reviewed at the Capital Improvements Committee meeting of the Board on Tuesday, January 22, 2019, and is aligned with Goal D of the Board's strategic plan. Approval of this change order will allow the district to make the necessary modifications to the existing contract. Mr. President, I move that we approve change order number one for the high school High School Group Replacement in the amount of a $52,218.40 credit. Second. Got a motion by Mrs. Alexander, second by Mrs. Bernard. Is there any discussion? Okay, hearing none, please cast your vote. My thumbs up indication that that motion passes unanimously. There you go. For the record. Okay, next item on the agenda 4.07 Substantial Completion Hornville High School Roof Replacement. The roof replacement at Hornville High School has been completed. It is ready to be accepted as substantially complete. The final inspection was held on, two, on Thursday, January 10th, 2019 with punch list items remaining. Acceptance of the roof as substantially complete will allow the contractor to process all closeout documents. The engineer recommends acceptance. This agenda item was reviewed at the Capital Improvements Committee meeting of the board on Tuesday, January 22nd, 2019, and aligned with goal D of the board's strategic plan. Move approval. Second. Got a, got a motion by Mr. Smith, second by Mr. Oquin. Is there any discussion? Okay, hearing none, please cast your vote. Madam Secretary, item 4.07 passes. 
Next item on the agenda, 4.08, proposed 2019-2020 school session calendar first reading. School board policy mandates that the school board shall adopt the calendar for the forthcoming school session. A committee composed of a school board member, a business and industry representative, central office administrators, principals, teachers, a parent, and students prepare calendars for board approval in accordance with our policy and procedures. Adoption of the calendar for the forthcoming school year as early as possible allows for the information to be disseminated to all stakeholders in a timely fashion. This item was reviewed at the Curriculum, Instruction, and Assessment Committee meeting of the board on Tuesday, January 22nd, 2019, and is aligned with goal A of the board strategic plan. I'll move approval of the proposed 2019-2020 school session calendar for the first reading. Second. second. Motion by Mr. Menard, second by Mr. Robichaud. Hey, any discussion? Uh, yes, Mr. President, I would like to acknowledge a few people who are in the audience. First of all, we have Regina McMillan, who actually facilitates the process, does an exceptional job with that. Also, we have the chair of the committee, uh, principal from Albert Cameron Middle School, Tamika Green, and finally, one of our Hanville High School students who also served on that committee, Mr. Ashton Flair, if you will please stand to be acknowledged. Thank you for being here tonight. Okay, is there any other discussion on this item? Hearing none, please cast your vote. Not coming. Let's let's do a um, let's do a, a, an open vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Madam Secretary, mark that as approved, please. Okay. Next item on the agenda is 4.09: Request for proposal for fiscal agent agreement for banking services. Capital One Bank has served as the school board's fiscal agent for the past 18 years. The board's agreement with Capital One Bank will expire on June 30th, 2019. Therefore, it's prudent to solicit proposals for eligible banks for fiscal year 2020 through 2022. Authorization of the request for proposals will allow administration to release the request for proposal to local banks and enable selection to begin in a timely manner. This item was presented at the Finance and Audit Committee meeting of the board on Tuesday, January 22nd, 2019 as aligned with goal B of the district strategic plan. Mr. President, I move that we approve the request to solicit proposals for fiscal agent for the period July 1, 2019 through June 30th of 2022. Second. second. Got a motion by Mr. Suffern, second by Mrs. Bernard. Any discussion? Okay, hearing none, please cast your vote. Madam Secretary, 4.09 has been approved. The okay, last item in the business section of tonight's meeting is accounts payable for the month of December 2018. Invoices and other financial obligations of the school district are customarily paid weekly. The request for approval of these transactions is normally made to the board monthly. The board must approve expenditures as of public funds under its jurisdiction. This agenda item was reviewed at the Finance and Audit Committee meeting of the board on Tuesday, January 22nd, 2019, and is aligned with Goal C of the board strategic plan. Mr. President, I move that we approve the accounts payable for the month of December 2018 in the total amount of $2,834,827.51. Okay, got, got a motion by Mr. Suffern, second by Mr. Mr. O'Quinn. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, please cast your vote. Mm -hmm. 
Madam Secretary, item 4.10 passes. At this time, we'll begin our closing items. Mr. Uh, President, uh, I'd like to request uh, to add a item to the agenda under personnel. Okay, we need to, um, Mr. Smith, we'd like to add an item on the agenda. Do we have a second? second. And then, okay, we have a second to add the item. We need a roll call vote, which has to be a, a unanimous to, um, to add that item. So all those in favor of adding an item aye. under personnel, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? What, what, is, what is the item? The item is under, under personnel. It, it has to do with the... Um, the search. superintendent search, which we will actually, uh, Mr. Alexander, go into executive session at the conclusion of this entire meeting. But it needs to add it during the business portion of tonight's meeting. Okay, I understand. Yeah. The business search, I think you need to state what the reason is. And I understand what it is, but yeah. it just needs to be stated. Yeah, it's in, it's in conjunction with the, um, with the superintendent search <coughs> and information that needs to be disseminated to the entire board. Okay, and it, it'll occur. Uh, after the superintendent's report. Okay. Okay, Mr. Smith, that item can be added. At the end of the okay. Meeting. We'd like to go into executive session, as you said, uh, under uh, that's LRS 42 uh, Code 6. Mr. Smith, I thought we were going to do that at the conclusion of the superintendent's report. I was simply responding. Okay. I had already said if I got the personnel, obviously you just given him the, he didn't the, hear me, so I repeated it. So okay. he, he gave you the statute. No, I, I knew it was, I, I heard you say it's under personnel, yeah. but I knew part of this was to go into executive session, and I thought that needed to be stated. No, you have to have to, have to have give to add, the item. Go, uh, add the item, and then once you add the item, then you say what the item is. And Ms. Alexander, you okay? Yes. Okay. All right, at this time we'll take uh, standing committee reports. Any chair of the uh, committee, uh, you're welcome to give your report at this time. Mr. President, uh, the Curriculum Instruction and Assessment Committee met on, on Tuesday, uh, January 22nd. We have three agenda items. Two were for committee meeting only, one being an adult ed program update by Ms. Jerry Smith, a second being an overview of our long-term CNI initiatives by Mr. A.J. Pethe. And our third um, item was the proposed 2019-2020 school session calendar for the first reading, which was approved, approved earlier in this meeting. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Bernard. Thank you, sir. Mr. President, the uh, Finance and Audit Committee met on Tuesday, January 22nd and covered three items. Uh, two of the three items came to the full board during this meeting and were approved. Those two items were requests for proposals for fiscal agent agreement for banking services and accounts payable for the month of December 2018. The other item was that representatives from our audit firm, Postal Weight Netterville, presented the uh, fiscal year 18 comprehensive annual financial report and uh, there will be a similar report provided this evening during the superintendent's report. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Suffer. Mr. President, the Personnel and Policy Committee met on Tuesday, on January 22nd, took care of the personnel lines that were presented to the board tonight. Also, with the additions that uh, Mrs. Weber uh, handed in for tonight's meeting. Uh, also, dealt with 4.05 Safety and Security Policy 5.10. And we had two holdover uh, equal opportunity employment policy for the second reading and also for the equal education opportunities policy. And all those were approved uh, tonight. Thank you, Mr. Savoy. Mr. President, the Risk Management and Insurance Committee also met. We went into executive session to be filled in on our monthly legal update. We also had a discussion on our, on our health insurance that's going to be renewing soon that will be brought to the full board next month. Thank you, Mr. Rocho. Capital Improvements Committee met on Tuesday as well. We reviewed three items. Uh, one was committee only, and that was the update on the Dr. Rodney Olafon Performing Arts Center. Uh, other two items dealt with the Hornville roof. Uh, first was a change order, credit of $52,000. Second was substantial complete. So we think that project is wrapped up and um, uh, ready to go. And uh, it's going to conclude Capital Improvements Report. Uh, with that, Superintendent, uh, 
invite you to give your report. Thank you, Mr. President. As Mr. Suffren stated earlier, the FY18 financial audit has been completed by the firm of Post Away Netterville. A report was prepared and delivered to the board at the Finance Committee meeting on Tuesday night. Tonight, we have Ms. Brandy Smith from the organization who will summarize the information provided to the board. Ms. Smith. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, as mentioned, we issued the financial statement audit report for the fiscal year 2017-2018. It was submitted to the Legislative Auditor's Office by the December 31st deadline. We had a clean or unmodified opinion on the financial statement audit. And in addition to that audit, we do a single audit, which is an audit of federal grants. We had no significant deficiencies or material weaknesses um, for your single audit, your audit of your federal rewards. In addition to that, we also do two agreed upon procedures engagements, one required by Bessie over performance and statistical data, and a separate agreed upon procedures engagement required by the legislative auditor. And we had no significant exceptions in those reports. So all four of those reports were submitted to the state by December 31st. And we want to thank um, you all for engaging with us to perform the audit and also thank um, Ms. Donna and her team for their cooperation in preparing the information needed to complete the audit on time. Thank you, Ms. Smith, thank and you. also congratulations to Ms. Post and her department uh, for making it through another audit. Um, we appreciate the hard work that that involves. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Ms. Smith. The Community Education Department Spring 2019 Information Card will be mailed to all St. Charles Parish residents during the week of January 28th. In addition, the Spring 2019 Community Education Online Brochure and Registration Form will be available on the district's website at www.stcharles.k12.la.us. Um, and, and the rest of the address will be displayed um, on the screen. Registration will begin Monday, January 28th and continue through Friday, March 1st. Clash, classes start the week of March 18th. So if you're ready to learn a new skill, there are more than 100 courses that will be offered during our spring session. For additional information regarding our community education program, please contact our community education department at 985-785-7268. And finally, each graduating high school senior in Louisiana public, in a Louisiana public school is required as a part of his or her individual graduation plan to complete either the free application for federal student aid, FAFSA, or to complete and sign a parental non-participation form. In order to meet this graduation requirement, parents must either complete the FAFSA application located on FAFSA.gov or contact your child school counselor at Destrahan or Hanville High School to complete the parental non-participation form. This is very important, parents of seniors. Additional questions regarding the Louisiana Department of Education graduation requirement can be answered by your child school counselor or principal. Thank you. That concludes my report. Thank you, Superintendent. At this time, we'll take up Mr. Smith's uh, added agenda item. Um, so I'll entertain a motion at this time so we can excuse people. Make that motion. I'll so move. Second. Okay, we have a motion on the table to go into executive session on the new item um, and a second by Mr. Uh, Savoie. We would ask, since we're going into executive session, we'd ask all um, audience members to please exit the, the boardroom. Uh, I think with the exception we'll go ahead uh, you're gonna go to? okay yeah, my, we're gonna we're gonna relocate 
but we'll have to come back here to adjourn the meeting. We're going to relocate the superintendent's office, so Miss um, Suffern, if you want to wait for your husband, you're welcome to sit right there, Don. Second. Got a motion by Mr. Robichaud, second by Mr. S uh, Savoy, that, that we that we go out, uh, go back from regular, from executive to regular session. The regular session. Motion adjourned. <laughs> let, let the secretary get it, get heads up. Got it. Yay. Jay and Mr. Savoy seconded the motion to go into regular session. Okay. Now we're back in regular session. Uh, if there's no further discussion, I'll entertain a motion. Motion adjourned. Got a motion by Mr. Robichaud, second by Mr. Bernard. All those in favor? Aye. We're out. Thank you. We out.